right y'all today's video is gonna be on like how i went to juvenile like all my whole like childhood and i'm gonna explain to y'all why it's good and why it's bad like how it helped me but why it's bad in the long run so y'all stay tuned yeah boy Like going to jail 2019 like y'all niggas need to just like chill out with all this fucking bullshit stay low key as much as possible as far as what you're doing you know what I'm saying keep to yourself you know everybody not gotta know what you're doing you know what I'm saying but like juvenile was a big ass waste of time guys I was always trying to finesse 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 but at the same time the system got a bunch of finesse and they could do themselves so I was getting all sorts of like fuckery, you know what I'm saying? I was getting in a position where I was gonna get fucking like a big charge. But luckily, the only big charge I had was when I was 12 years old. It was a spray painting on like a school type shit, you know what I'm saying? So it was a felony. All my other charges are like misdemeanors, all that good stuff. Not good stuff, but you know what I mean? So I got lucky, you know what I'm saying? I, I got, I've been blessed. So I dropped that felony. I was on probation for like one week. And I was like, what, 15 years old, I think, at the time? And that shit was crazy because one week later, I got back on probation and wasted more time on my childhood. So let me tell y'all exactly what happened. All right, y'all, so, so what, I ended up doing, what I ended up doing was from 12 to 15 years old, I kept on coming out dirty for marijuana, being stupid like that. When I could have got off for like, I had six to nine months, I could have just did those six to nine months. But guess what? I'm fucking an idiot. And I, I kept on procrastinating, kept on trying to finesse the system like, oh, I'm still smoking and they're not doing nothing. But little did I know, I'm wasting more time and more time and more time. Probation was affecting me with my school because every other day, I had something to do. Community service, anger management classes, all that good stuff. So at the end of the day, it was hard, you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, I didn't realize none of this until I was like, what, 17? And I had to fucking do a lot of time or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They slapped my ass with, you're gonna be locked up till you're 18 years old. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? That's when it hit me to the heart. I was like, fuck. I'm wasting, I wasted my whole childhood doing all this bullshit. I didn't even get to be a kid, nigga. Like, I, my dumb ass was fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, thugging all my fucking life. I wasn't even, I don't know. But I'm blessed that I got out before 18, you know what I'm saying? Like, like two, three, four months, whatever, three months before I was 18. Which was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I got time to think about my life and what I wanted to do in life. And those three months before I turned 18 years old, I made a promise to myself. Motherfucking NBA, nigga. I swear to God, like, everybody knows I made a promise to myself, bro. I would never be broke again, I told myself. It was a mindset I kept, and from there, it just fucking skyrocketed. Everything just went on, bro. Like, never broke again. I want y'all to set that facts to your mindset. And you'll never be broke again. Like, keep that mindset. Keep positive. If you feel like you're going broke, fix that shit. ASAP. Fix it. Ain't no time to sit on your ass. If your money's not growing, that hoe's shrinking. Facts. Good evening. 
Fat newbies. Hey guys, so basically, I spent a lot of my time just being wasted when I could have been doing awesome shit like this, you know what I'm saying, my whole fucking life. But instead, everybody passes by it. You pass by something beautiful like this every day. You never know because guess what? You're too focused on your destination. You gotta realize the good things in life. Don't be always focused on the bad things. I thought I could finesse the system. I ended up finessing myself, dog. That's the worst thing you could do. Because guess who did all that time? Me. The fucking system didn't do no time. They got paid for my case. Guess what? I'm doing hard ass time for that stupid ass shit. Some stupid probation violation. Like, wow. There's people getting caught with stolen cars and doing the same sentence as me. Like, what the fuck? The system was fucked up. Excuse my language, guys. I'm just like, I mean it, you know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, so basically stop fucking getting in trouble. We don't need to get in trouble no more. We need to get our money up, you know what I'm saying? And by us getting our money up is the perfect way to get rich, you know what I'm saying? If we're trying to get cake in 2019, we gotta follow these steps. Step one, stay out of jail. Cause guess what, time is money, and guess what you're doing in jail? Wasting fucking time. So you better listen to my steps and keep on going. All right, you guys. I just want everybody in 2019 to understand their plan. And I know that going to school seems bad and all that, but please stay in school, guys, because if that's what y'all want to do, Pursue that. Don't slack on that. Don't slack on yourselves because if you play yourself The whole world, you know, what I'm saying is gonna be played as well. You gotta like You know what I'm saying guys you gotta be like dedicated for it So basically What, what, hap what ended up happening is I, I, I wasted all my childhood guys so take it from me I, I, I wish I could take that back like when I was in jail all those times, I had to fucking like be my own self, be my own man. And that was for every time of when I was locked up. Nobody was there but myself, you know what I'm saying? So, except Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Jesus was there with me. So I will pray and shit and I'll do my thing, you know what I'm saying? And without Jesus, I don't think I will be here today. So I, I gotta say, Jesus played a big part in this, you know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll be back at it with some more five videos. Let's get it!